A question was asked today by a student that work done by normal reaction is generally zero. Is there any example in which work done by normal reaction is non-zero or is it always zero? Generally this type of doubt arises because one gets accustomed to taking normal reaction in certain fashion. For example, if a book is kept on the table then the normal reaction is upwards opposite to the direction of mg balancing the book. One gets used to taking such type of normal reactions in most cases. However, normal reaction always takes place whenever there is interaction between two bodies physically. Consider a book lying on the surface. A finger pushes that book due to which the book moves by one feet. The table applies a normal reaction upwards and the motion of the book is in forward direction. The work done by that normal reaction is zero. However, finger applies force on the book, book moves forward and gains kinetic energy, the finger does positive work. There is a force applied by the book on the finger as well and that is normal reaction. As the book moves forward, the direction of motion is forward, the force on the finger by the book is in the opposite direction. Force is in opposite direction and therefore work done by this normal reaction is negative. So work done by normal reaction need not always be zero. It's a question of which normal reaction we are talking about. You saw that in the same example work done by one normal reaction was zero whereas the work done by the other normal reaction was not zero.